Chef Judson Allen is a Chicagoan and a current contestant on Food Network Star, where he is, well, he is competing for his very own cooking show. Yeah, and he's <laughs> back in Chicago today with us to show us some simple ways to cut calories in the kitchen. And this is so important to you because at one point you were 350 pounds. Yes, at my highest weight, 350 pounds. And you lost how much? I lost about 135 pounds. Yeah, so onboard process. Onboard process. Yeah. Wow, how long has it taken you to do that? You know, I started in 2006, uh -huh. so, you know, it's been that transformation ever since then. Right. So let's talk about the show. It just premiered this weekend. The competition yes. is still going on. I know you have to keep some secrets, so secret. what can you tell us about the show right now? <laughs> you know, uh, this season is unlike any other season ever before. Um, the cool thing about it is we have three mentors, uh, Giada, Bobby Flay, and Alton Brown. And I'm going to give a nod to Alton Brown because he's my mentor. Okay. You know, with the bow ties and all this other stuff, you know. Yeah. But, um, but the cool thing about it is we're competing, 15 of us, and only one winner. Uh, who's going to get their own show? It's it, very intense. Is it, is it just how, you know, when you see these reality shows, they just really like that or? It's like that. It's, I mean, it's, it's intense. It's like. It's intense. <laughs> it's, we'll just leave it I tell you, it was one. It was one of the. It was one of the hardest things I've been through in your life. Yeah. In, in case you don't watch the food TV network, basically Alton Brown is like the Ryan Seacrest of food TV. Exactly. Mm -hmm. really rich. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. He is. <laughs> okay. So how important was it to have him as your mentor? It was important. You know, I, I'd say Alton Brown is that food science. It's like Mr. Wizard meets. Uh, uh, this quirky, intelligent guy, you know, so with all about food. And that's kind of how I see myself. I, I typically say I'm kind of Alton Brown meets Emeril Lagasse. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that, that blend between food scientist meets this New Orleans guy. All right. Well, um, let's talk about what you're making for us today. And as we're talking, we'll talk about where you got your influences because they came from your grandmother. But yep, first, let's yep. start with what we're doing today. Sure. So we're going to get started. What we're going to do is a pecan and parmesan encrusted catfish. Okay. And now the cool thing about this is typically catfish is usually deep fried. Yes. And I mean, we love it deep fried. Don't <laughs> yes, we, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like, Nothing like, like <laughs> fish fry. <laughs> right? But exactly. So this time I decided I wanted to do um, a healthier twist on it with bold flavor. And I'm doing a play on this um, Parmesan pecan encrusted catfish, uh -huh. uh, some uh, goat cheese herb polenta cakes, and a kale salad. Kind of a play on uh, catfish and grits. Okay. Yeah, you catfish see? Catfish and grits. But with a healthier twist to it. So here, I'm going to have you come over here. Okay. And you're going to work on... Uh, Who taught you how to cook? My grandparents. My, oh my gosh, my grandfather is from New Orleans. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's all about Creole with him. My oh, there they are there. Yeah. <laughs> my grandparents, uh, my grandmother, she's this innovative, creative person behind the kitchen. So she's that lady that'll turn anything into a soup. Be it oh. ribs and macaroni and cheese and turn it into a soup. Sometimes it's not always edible, you know. <laughs> I, I love grandma and she's still with us, but she knows sometimes it's a stretch, but I think that's where I get my creativity Exactly. From. Well, that's what to dump all this in here? Yeah, so okay, this right dump here. dump all this in here. Dump all this. Okay. So we've got our pecans, we've got our panko, our parsley, mm -hmm. um, and that's going to add that flavor. Okay. And the cool thing about this is that's going to go on top of the catfish that's already been seasoned. Uh-huh. And that's going to give that same effect of a fried catfish. So then what did you season that with? Because you already have a layer of seasoning. Oh, there. I do. So I use, I don't ever go home without this. Man. Okay, this what is, is it? This is a Cajun <laughs> Creole blend spice. I mean, it stays with me everywhere. And okay. it's amazing. We've got a cayenne. We've got black pepper. Yes. Garlic powder in there. Yes. No salt, because I try to stay away from the salt in okay. all my foods. Um, so all of that is combined in here. I've got a little bit of the seafood with dill. Mm -hmm. um, I like my food spicy. Yeah. I like to keep it spicy in the kitchen. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I add told y'all sexy. <laughs> spicy and sexy. Spicy and sexy. Is the, you know, that's the way to go. And then a little bit of garlic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this olive oil. Okay. Just a drizzle. That helps kind of stick yeah, whatever that's you're gonna, doing. Okay. That's going to bind that uh, that breading that right. we have here with the pecans and everything. Okay. On top of that. Just dip yeah, this just on dump here? It, dust it on there. Okay. okay. And Justin, you graduated with a degree in food and nutrition. So yes. you, you've kind of always known the right way. But what, what was the biggest thing that said, you know what, I'm going to change my was, eating habits and, and put my knowledge to use here? You know, it was when I graduated and I was at my highest weight at that 350 point. And I looked at myself at my graduation photo and I said, I've got to make some difference. i got to make a change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You do. I, you do want to be healthy. And, and you too, yeah. Healthy. Exactly. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, <laughs> you go. Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Thank we're so you proud so of you. Okay, let's get, we're running out of time. So, so let's okay. get to the finished so we're product. Gonna, we're going to grab the finished product. Out okay. Of the oven. Now, Magic of TV, we've done this and this is what it's going to look like. Voila. Voila. So again, I mean, you've got 
You got all these different flavors. You've got the uh, lemon zest in here, that Cajun Creole spice, and it has that crunchiness from the uh, from the pecan. Okay, I'm dropping oh, Ryan, stuff over here. Right. I dropped the knife. I'll well, use this one. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here, you go on and play. Okay. And then I'm going to keep talking. You okay. can check out Judson on Food Network Star every Sunday. Let's support our homegrown here at 8 p.m. on the Food Network, and you can find out these great healthy recipes, of course, that we've prepared here on WindyCityLive.com.